coming to uh, you mr tiwari i think uh, in 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 uh, your area ai is is uh, there's a lot of use cases right and i'm sure you've been uh, using it extensively but especially the last 9 months uh, how have things changed have you discovered new use cases for it uh, some interesting anecdote anecdote from your uh, because you operate with a huge scale of data i mean across uh, different uh, so 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 having the right data is not a problem for you right uh, or is it So we are getting used to so many platforms on a daily daily basis, right? Sorry, my bad. So, uh, so AI AI is something which you can't just plan it out in a day, right? You need to have a very strategic thinking around it. So, mm-hmm. frankly, my understanding on AI strategy and journey hasn't been changed hasn't changed at all because of COVID. Mm-hmm. So the way we planned it in our organization, we continued with the same uh, level of effort. and uh, what has been our focus area largely speech to text as uh, ramki was telling right is an area where see we, we have a pretty decent offline business where we have a huge contact center where our people connect uh, with the customers to give them the right advice and such a information base which is li- 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 which is available in terms of voice we do convert that into text and one of the challenges that we have been facing that there had been multiple dialect in india you know and people do generally don't talk in english so multilingual multi dialect situation is is an area where we we are working very hard and we are trying to solve the problem and as it has been told it's not a commodity yet so you can't just plug and play you still have to train your model on various data sets and keep on analyzing and improvising as you move forward so the journey continues we have started reaping uh, out some benefits out of the work that we have done for last uh, nearly 2 years i would say that the journey started way back in almost 2 years back not now and it continues right now there are other areas where as the other businesses are working towards chatbots where you can actually have a natural uh, nat- natural language processing based bots where you can understand what your customers are trying and then you can respond to those queries and voice bots where you you can in absence of any advisor on the phone you can actually respond to customer queries which are not very complex in nature so i would would have put a filter insurance is a very involved business i don't want to advise my consumers who are looking to buy a term insurance through a bot it will be <laughs> it can go in a very different direction altogether because term insurance is a product which you will buy when you won't be you want to buy for the time and you won't be in the world right so your family members would be using it so to advise a customer through a bot would, would be i think uh, wrong so we generally use uh, bots in situation where someone is looking out for policy document or someone wants to know what is happening to my policy status so we bring up bots over there we also do the anomaly detection as as i mentioned earlier where we figure out that where our data is going in a in a almost in a different direction altogether fraudulent activities happening etc so those those are the places we are actively using and there are lot of places where we as i told the multilingual support dialect support is uh, is is something which is part of our road map we'll continue to improvise our chatbots will continue to become better and we'll continue to take this uh, entire road map ahead as we move forward and i would say that we have not reached where we want to be with the ai and in fact uh, as manisha said i think 2021 ai is going to be the mainstream so far people used to only talk about that they have they are using ai in some form or another but frankly ai has started giving benefits to the organization and that's the reason every ceo is always talking about what exactly is your ai road map and we we are very focused upon that and we really want to work towards that